How are you guys feeling? How was your summer? What have you guys learned from each other through this whole process? Uh, I think we had a very productive summer. You know, um, we were here a majority of it, you know, uh, working on our games, getting stronger, um, just building better chemistry with each other. And I think uh, we have uh, the right motivation going into the season. You know, he, he pretty much hit it on the head. We've been here just working hard, everyone trying to improve their game, get stronger, and um, just build that chemistry. You know, I think that's going to help translate in the court. This time last year, you guys were rookies. Perhaps you didn't know all what to expect. With that said, you guys now are on your belt. What do you, what advice do you give Victor and Romero as they set out on this kind of whirlwind? Uh, the main thing I think for me last year was just uh, taking care of your body. You know, it's, it's a long season. You don't want to kill yourself in the beginning of the season, thinking that you got to spend spend every day, all day in the gym. It's, it's, you got to get your work in, but it's a long season. You got to be able to take care of your body and uh, pace yourself. You know? Another thing I would say is just not to get too high when you have a good game, but not to get too low when you have a bad game. Yeah, I mean, just to echo that, just um, take care of yourself. Um, it's 82 game season, so I'm definitely in college. Just um, anytime you have a question, you know, don't be afraid to ask the vets, ask the coach. They're great resources for you, so they'll help you on and off the court and how to better yourself. Andrew, can you talk about the way you guys hold each other accountable and how you're able to lean on each other and the chemistry that you're built by being here together all summer? Yeah, um, you know, being here together all summer, I mean, we hang out with each other on and off the court. You know, it's, once you're with someone off the court as much as being on, then you get to understand their personalities and how to approach them. So um, you know, we're very accountable with each other, you know, when we're doing drills or in the, in the weight room. We just make each other better and push each other. You obviously put on some more muscle. How does it translate for you on the court? Do you feel it so far? Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel it. Um, you know, I got, got a lot more weight on me now. It's, uh, just you know, getting positions a lot easier. You know, defending is getting, getting a lot easier too. So just working on some of the stuff we're paying on. Andrew, what did you learn from the uh, FIBA tournament and participating in the summer about yourself and about the game? Uh, it's a different game. Uh, a lot different from the NBA. It's, uh, it's definitely a grind. You know, you have uh, you know, 10 games in 12 days. And, uh, you know, I, mean, I, I personally got better just by you know, the ethic air reps. I know there, there are different games, as you said, but do you anticipate maybe bringing that three-point shot to the, uh, the NBA game? Yeah, I've been working on that all summer. Um, it's definitely something we the coaches have been uh, going at the of the time, so adding that to the game is definitely going to be more of a threat than others. What have you guys learned about Victor Oladipo through the last few months of you guys practicing together? Good thing. Um, he's, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a great kid, you know. He works hard. Easy to be around. It's funny, you know. It's just, I just I like being around personally. Um, I think it, he has a bright future. That's what he's a great defender. You know, plays well on offense. And overall, good guy off the court. You guys stayed here, worked out a lot together over the off season. I saw tweets and everything. You guys seem to be getting a good camaraderie going. First of all, what went into the decision of you guys all working out together, and whose idea might it have been? Um, it was really our. Uh, old strength coach's idea to Joe, you know, he kind of had us all here in the beginning of the summer just doing stuff in the weight room, getting ready for summer league, and, and after summer league, we all just came back again, I and mean, Drew did his national team stuff, but most of the guys were still here, and just working out together, and just, just hanging out together, you know, going to eat, just doing little things together, and just, just building a bond, and we think that that's going to help on the court, like uh, holding, each, hold, holding each other accountable, like you said, we know how to approach each other. Um, all that stuff translates. Did, did it give you guys the college feel again? Like, like you guys were college roommates here playing together? Yeah, I mean, I feel like this, this, this is as close as you can be in the NBA to a college team. Um, these guys are like my brothers. And, um, I just, I love being around them, you know. I, I can't get enough of these guys. Did you go to the Bucks game yesterday? Yes. Okay. What's it like to be a spectator at a pro sports event? To kind of see guys play rather than being someone who's out there in the I mean, it's, it's fun, you know, you get to interact as a fan, you know, you, you get like be excited when exciting plays happen, you know, it's, it's just a lot of fun, you know, I love going, to, especially football games. But what kind of confidence did the performance that you did at, had at Summer League bring to the rest of the summer? I know 
as right. much as you can over summer league. Um, you know, um, I mean, it's just, I think that's the main difference this season, you know, going in, I have a lot more confidence in myself. And it's, it's just gonna, it's just gonna help. <laughs> it's, it's just gonna help, you know. Um, playing in summer league with these guys, you know, we just had a lot of fun, you know. He's out there, and um, I could see that the hard work that I was putting in was translating. Thanks, fellas.